Peggy 12. Hi, this is Dan Moskowitz. In this video, we'll show off our new simulation engine, Glass Box, and how we're using it to simulate the basic economic loop between residential, industrial, and commercial buildings. Keep in mind that this demonstration is showing off simulation behavior and not graphics. So here I've got a small town that I've built. Uh, it has a pretty small residential neighborhood and a block of industrial buildings over here. It's almost 6 a.m. in my city, and that's when the industrial buildings turn on for the day. The first thing their rules do is tell them that they don't have any workers, so they need to send out some help wanted requests. These are agents that are invisible to the player that travel down the roads and look for residential buildings to basically knock on the door and send out cars looking for work. And here we see a whole bunch of cars that are traveling along the pass looking for a job. They're going to travel to the first available job using the virtual distance field to do their navigation. When enough workers arrive at an industrial building, the building turns on and starts producing goods. The rules that produce the goods are the same rules that produce air pollution. The simulation rules that create the goods are also creating air pollution. Here we see buildings writing to the air pollution map, and it's the same rule that triggers the smoke effect. And here we see a debug visualization of that map. As each industrial building produces goods, it sends out freight trucks that deliver from the industrial zone to the commercial zone. Here's a freight truck delivering to a commercial building. And that's the basic economic loop between the industrial, commercial, and residential zones in SimCity. Thanks for watching.